Hi, Skip. I know you and Sue are traveling in Cramalot Inn, so I thought I'd go ahead and video the house for you before we move in, and then when you guys get back, maybe you can video an after. So here we go. I'll try to do the uh, Skip Smith thing of pointing out what I think is different. One of the things we fell in love with was this little porch. It's tiny, but we really think it's cute. And here we go in the front door. This is a bungalow villa. And uh, there's the wall there. <laughs> Here it is from an entry perspective. This area over here is the living room. And it is an open floor plan, about 1,700 square feet. This is our kitchen. It does have a nice backsplash and quartz countertops. We liked that everything was neutral. We figured we could make it our own with accents. It has a, a single stainless steel sink, a little pantry to the left of the refrigerator, the dishwasher is over here to the side, and actually what we learned was right over here is where, oop, nope, that's not it. Well, you can see the slide out, I guess. And somewhere along here, I thought was the trash. Maybe this is it over here. Yeah, here we go. So the trash and recycle bins are over here. Gives you an idea of what the tile looks like. Again, we thought it was neutral, but had enough of a little pizzazz to it that we could go from here and make it our own. One of the things that really sold us on this house was the view. We're on the golf course and on the putting and chipping green, not where balls can hit us. And we also fell in love with this extended double Lanai. When we stayed at the bungalows for the lifestyle preview, we learned how wonderful these lanais are. It has two fans. So we think we'll be spending a lot of time out there with coffee and wine in the evening. This is the area that will be the little dining room. And as I say, it's an open floor plan. That door over there takes you to the guest rooms. We'll go there next. But before that, I'll take you to the master. So it's not a big master. It's 12 by 14, has a little cove ceiling. But because of the windows and the way the walls are, the bed really needs to go over there, so there's only 12 feet. We're used to king-size bed, but we did a queen this time to give us more room. And again, there's our view. Cost us a little premium, but we think it's worth it. And here's the, uh, the bathroom, double sink. Square sort of contemporary sinks. We thought that was sort of fun. The commode is over here. And then it does have the Roman walk-in showers you've described. We're pretty jazzed about that. And it has a little bit of an extended walk-in closet. So there's a little area back here that pops out, I guess, for linens and things. And then more storage over here, shelving. So that's sort of convenient. Yeah, 
Yeah. So that's the master bathroom. And you can see the tile. I guess I didn't show that before. The tile is in here. We did. We do have carpeting in the bedrooms, but they tell us that the tile is available right now. We could either buy some and set it aside if we decide that we want to change out later, or we could actually change the carpeting to tile and everything would match. So that's sort of nice. This is the guest area. And again, the uh, square contemporary sink, quartz counter. It's not a real large bathroom, but it sure is adequate as a secondary bathroom. And then two extra rooms. Our thought is that we'll probably make one into a guest room by putting a sofa bed into it and then make the second one uh, an office computer area. So they're not big, they're about 10 by 11, but again, adequate for secondary bedrooms. And right next to a, a small, but again, a very usable laundry room. I'll probably put shelving up there. And there's room over here where I'll put um, probably a cabinet for tall things like brooms and vacuum cleaners and ironing boards. And then over here is a linen closet. So that's it. Hope it helped. See you on the other side. See you on the other side.